उत्तर प्रदेश राज्य के अभिलेखागार संस्कृति विभाग द्वारा संचालित मौखिक इतिहास योजना में आज दिनांक 27 मई 2013 को बेगम हमीदा हबीबुल्ला का स्वागत है कृपया आप अपने पिता का नाम माता का नाम जन्म तिथि बताने का कष्ट करें पिता का नाम तो डॉक्टर नादिरुद्दीन हसन यानी एल एल बी फमेंगन मगर उनको चूँकि हैदराबाद में उन्होंने काम किया था और हैदराबाद में ही वक्त यू वॉन्ट टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश जज ऑफ हाई कोर्ट इन हैदराबाद एंड हैदराबाद वेन एनी बॉडी गेम टू सर्टन स्टेज ऑफ सर्विस लेकिन दी स्टार्टेड नवाब नाजिर यार जंग बहादुर नाव आफ्टर दैट ही वॉज जस्ट नवाब साहब एंड ही वॉज जस्ट नवाब नाजिर यार जंग बहादुर विच ही डिट वेरी मच ही स्टोर विद टॉक अबाउट हज नेम बी नाजिर उद्दीन हसन बट ही वॉज नोन एज नवाब नाजिर यार जंग बहादुर एंड माई मदर वॉज लेडी एंड हर नेम वॉज इंदिरा गांधी वेरी ऑफन वी मेट इंदिरा गांधी एंड आई मेट quietly and celebrated our birthday which you was 19th and I was 16th uh, anyway uh, that was uh, I and I yes it's quite long time ago and uh, I was so fit and well only a few days ago that I thought I was doing really well for my birthday anyway uh, I have a pleasure to meet you yes from your educational qualification my educational qualifications is uh, i did my uh, uh, ba from in, uh, hyderabad uh, usman university but because i had got uh, a lot of uh, very high marks in the senior cambridge before that i was doing senior cambridge and i was senior cambridge i got uh, seven distinctions or something like that later i discovered after i got married i got married immediately after uh, immediately after my marriage i went off to the post in peshawar this is the uh, partition of course But my husband and i were very against partition so he didn't go to pakistan but stayed on in india and lucknow lucknow my father knew and by chance of the lucknow university and uh, there is a family with a hostel there mm-hmm. you may have heard that and uh, um, i then uh, became very uh, well known because at uh, uh, usman university i turned the course into urdu and the result was that all the others had failed in english if they failed in english then uh, they failed in the whole exam and i so i stood first at the university in uh, 19 I got the news uh, in uh, sometime at the end of 1938 after I got the news. Yes, my director, this is Rubina Vig, wants to ask some questions to you. Certainly. Rubina Vig. No, I am Rubina Vig, ma'am. B-A-I-G, Vig. Vig? Yeah, yeah. Uzbekistan. Vig is a lovely name because I am is it grand daughter who is in america the moment shazia has been killed there she shazia shazia is in in law the role day and i'm one thing i wanted to know like uh, you were there during the freedom struggle yes any episode interesting episode that you remember of the struggle that took place or any one for particular you remember had been struggling for the and was an active member during that time uh, 
active member uh, at the time of the, the independence struggle for independence. The most uh, important one was that my husband and I both thought that, uh, that Pakistan was being based on. Uh, it, it was. Uh, we used to always talk about uh, uh, سالوں کی سزا دی شیر ایسا ہے اس لیے کہ ہم لوگ پارٹیشن کے خلاف تھے انڈیپینڈنس تو ہم سب چاہتے تھے اور انڈیپینڈنس وی تھاٹ دو مائی ہسبینڈ این آئی ویری مچ انوالو دی آرمی مائی ہسبینڈ واز جنرل ان دی آرمی ہی بیکیم ہیڈ آف دا نیشنل ڈیفینس اکیڈمی ہی اسٹارٹیڈ دا نیشنل ڈیفینس اکیڈمی آف انڈیا آرمی نیوی اینڈ ایئر فورس ان کھڑک واسلا اینڈ ہی واز دیٹ ہی اسٹارٹیڈ ان نائنٹین ففٹی فور اینڈ سو اٹ واز آل آفٹر پارٹیشن بٹ بفور پارٹیشن مائی ہسبینڈ ہو ڈیڈ ناٹ وانٹ ٹو گو ٹو پاکستان بیکاز ہی سیڈ اٹس اے ویری ان نیچرل ڈویژن ہی وینٹ ٹو جواہر لال نہرو اینڈ ہی سیڈ پنڈت جی پلیز فار گیو می But I want to tell you that this partition is based totally on wrong uh, footings. Because uh, the, a Punjabi is a Punjabi. doesn't matter whether he uh, is a Hindu or a Muslim. Uh, 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 UPI, it is a UPI. A South Indian is a South Indian. He speaks South Indian language. Uh, Punjabi, Punjabi Muslim and Punjabi Hindu speak. Uh, Pan, uh, Punjabi language. You uh, in Lucknow, you all speak Urdu, and uh, some of the uh, greatest poets in Urdu are Muslims, and some of the greatest poets in Urdu are Hindus. Uh, they they uh, written uh, so well. So uh, what did uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru have Pandit to say? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru said, "I'm very sorry, but I understand what you are saying." I also uh, uh, realize that you are feeling very unhappy about it because quite a lot of your friends must be uh, in that category also. So my husband said that it's a, it's, this is not a question of uh, personal friendship. This is really a question of the country. And the country is uh, being divided on basis of religion, which is wrong. I don't think that that can be possible. So we are I'm very, very unhappy about it. But uh, he told uh, Jawaharlal Nehru the story that uh, his mother, uh, who was uh, Muslim Liga, Begum Habibullah, Begum Habibullah, she was called that Liga Habibullah. Very sweet person, but totally uneducated as far as school education was concerned. Very convinced that Jida was asking for the right thing that Jinnah was a very fine man, mm -hmm. that Jinnah was a very clever man. And she was going to see Mr. Jinnah one day. So my husband said, uh, if I sneak in, does it matter? He, she said, yes, but keep quiet. He did just the opposite. When he arrived, he said, yes, 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 to my mother. Um, but when he arrived over there, he's asked Mr. Jinnah, he said, may I know how how you are dividing the country on the basis of Muslim and Hindus. Because the, uh, the same story, as I said, the Punjabi is a Punjabi, a Peshawari is a Peshawari. We were staying in Peshawar. Everybody was just speaking Pashto, and everybody was wearing Shalwar Kameez. So uh, where was the difference? Now, when they d d divided up, they found it very difficult to carry on with the other. So he uh, told this story. and. Uh, Unfortunately, mommy was very, my mother-in-law was na naturally very angry. He said, don't understand, and Mr. Jinnah is a very clever man. So my husband said, he may, have, may be a very clever man as far as you are concerned. I don't think it's very clever to divide the Punjab, to divide the frontier province, mm -hmm. where everybody is a, uh, speaks Pashto and uh, wears Shalwar kameez, mm -hmm. and they have their ancestral homes and everything over there. So th those were the incidents that I remember with uh, 
a certain amount of sorrow. I miss a lot of my friends mm -hmm. with there. And uh, did you ever get I to meet uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi at any point? Yes, I life? used to go and attend all his prayer meetings in the morning because we were posted in Delhi at that time. And uh, I used to meet, but we used to meet Jawaharlal Nehru much more often. And then I uh, got to know Indira Gandhi very well. And she was a fine woman she was, and a very brave woman. And uh, it was her bravery that really made her stand up to this. Otherwise, somebody else might have tried to uh, somehow have the other, uh, get away from this no, situation. But uh, she said, no, nobody is going to, uh, nobody warned her about any, any trouble like this, what happened. But uh, I was in England uh, uh, on the 24th of the month, on the 30th she was again. On the 24th I was in England and I uh, deliberately went to uh, in, in those areas where Indians were living. And I saw nothing but Bhindranwala's pictures. And I didn't see one picture of Indira Gandhi's. So I got a bit frightened mm -hmm. as to why they were showing all these pictures of uh, Bhindranwala and no picture of Indira Gandhi. There is anti-Indira Gandhi movement mm -hmm. going on. So I came back and I went and saw Indira Gandhi almost immediately after I came back because I was a member of parliament at that time. So I used to see her in any case every morning. And I went and the, just the day before or something like that, I think, or two, few days before, 23rd, 24th I came back and I went to see her, must be 25th, 26th or something like that. Yes. And I said, Indraji, I am very frightened. She said, this is a very uh, wrong thing to say, Levi, what are you frightened about? What is that to be afraid of? So I said, I am afraid that uh, wrongly based ideas have been fixed in people's mind, even in England. And they've got Bhishnadwala's pictures all over the place and no pictures of yours. So she said, oh, well, they probably don't like me very much because I tried, I'm i trying to do something for them, but they don't seem to realize it. So, but don't be afraid, 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 frightened. There's nothing to be afraid of. And this is what happened to her. She was a very brave woman, a very fine woman, and I think one of these people that um, people should have been proud of, and people have been proud of her, and pride of, proud of her ideas and proud of her thinking. Even when, when Margaret Thatcher came to India, and I thought to myself, now Margaret Thatcher had uh, gone to all the hairdressers and beauty specialists and this and that and the other, had herself done up and everything like that. Indira Gandhi was sitting in the parliament and I was in the parliament house also, uh, sitting in her khadar sari. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a very she was naturally beautiful. And looking so beautiful because uh, she was naturally mm -hmm. very sane and serene sort of face she had. Never, she, she was not, um, since she was not afraid, I think she was not worried about anything. She thought one can face anything in the world. And uh, uh, she had a very, uh, very special way of uh, approaching uh, people, and she never ca came and interfered in any meeting that people were having with Jawaharlal Nehru, in the sense that she wouldn't interfere in the conversation or anything like that. So that was, it was, for me, it was one of the luckiest things that could have happened to have known a wonderful person like Indra Gandhi. Uh, so those were those wonderful sort of days but the, for me uh, the, before that uh, the uh, uh, National Disability Academy being inaugurated by Jawaharlal Nehru in 1954 he came to uh, my husband brought the whole of uh, the, uh, the uh, military wing from Dehradun uh, uh, to the National Defense Academy in Kharakwasta. And Kharakwasta was a newly built building. Jawaharlal Nehru came and inaugurated it. And it was something to be so proud of. One of the happiest and proudest days of my life 
was to think that the Army, Navy and Air Force, the second in the world, was something that my husband commanded for nine years. Uh, yes, and I very often heard uh, big leaders and people saying, you can't replace Habibullah, he's very, he knows uh, the, in, the uh, National Defense Society inside out. Now his uh, photograph and painting is there outside the big hall. And uh, that's one of the proud days of our lives, actually. Uh, I stayed, uh, we, we came away from there, and uh, my husband was sent to, uh, to Malaysia. He sent to Malaysia to, uh, because Tunku Abdul Rahman had wanted the Indian officer who had started a military academy of the size of uh, the National Defense Academy, Karpasla, uh, to come and start his army. But my goodness, the British were very upset about it. And they started running up and down to say that uh, they are taking Malaysia out of our hands also and handing it over to Habibullah. And uh, so he must be got rid of immediately. And so my husband was told that uh, he had finished his work and he could go. And Tumkub the Rahman, though he was very unhappy, and he gave us presents like the Mercedes and this and that and then, but never dared tell the British that they were talking absolute rubbish. I mean, why can't he get his own army and have his own uh, independent Malaysia, but they, he just yes. didn't dare to do that. Madam, after Vivaak, you came to your Rajniti Chet. You came to your politics, you came only after your marriage. Yes, I was in politics. I didn't have any meaning. I was in my own way of writing and writing. But uh, I uh, joined politics much later because Begum Anis Qadwai, Rafiya Mas Qadwai, she asked me to come and help um, uh, Hafiz Ibrahim, uh, who was one of our leaders, in his, uh, in his election in, uh, in uh, uh, Muradabad. So I went there to his election and uh, unfortunately while uh, the opposition which was the Loki Babu and also a person from here Dr. Faridi these two were working with, with the common man sitting in the Jhopli and talking to him and saying what are your needs politicians must be made to see what you what you what you, what you, what you want you want food, you want light, you want... Uh, they said, yes, that's exactly what we want. And they said, so I went and uh, went back and went back rushing to the office and I said, you know, here we are sitting drinking Tarmuz ka Sharma. Oh, Dr. Faridi or the Loki Babu to bada propaganda kar rahe Kriplani. जीपी <laughs> से कहा गया कि आप वहाँ से खड़ी होंगी मैंने कहा मैं तो पॉलिटिक्स में दिलचस्पी मुझे बहुत है बट आई हैव नॉट फॉर्ट एन इलेक्शन फ्रॉम एनी वे सो आई डोंट नो वेर एवर यू फील आई कैन स्टैंड फ्रॉम एंड आई हैव अ चांस ऑफ विनिंग द इलेक्शन देन यू कैन मेक मी पुट मी दैस दे सर हैदरगढ़ इज सम ऑफ योर रिलेशन आर देर एंड दैट्स अ प्लेस विच इज़ एन बाराबंकी which is your in-laws' uh, base is also there in uh, Saidanpur, which is 
uh, also a place in ba in Barabanki, you know, d d district. So they said, you can stand from there, but you'll have to work hard because there was no road to Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. There was only a road by a river. I mean, a sort of canal, canal route. But I didn't mind. I enjoyed thoroughly. So how how long were you there, ma'am? As in Hyderabad, you were then elected MLA from Hyderabad. I was selected an MLA from Hyderabad, okay. and so then I was made a minister after that. Okay. And uh, in, it, it was all in Lucknow. But uh, uh, that uh, that uh, made me love the villager. Mm -hmm. I felt the villager was a very straight and honest, not because he wanted to be, but he just was uh, uh, in a position to not make out any stories about anything. That's right. Any important contribution during your, uh, of yours during that tenure, ma'am? Uh, As a politician? Contribution. Uh, well, I, uh, my important contribution was that the people, the villager himself, when I was, uh, they were told just, just the, when the election was coming close and everybody said she might win this election. The villagers were, I thought the villagers will fall for this story that uh, Begum, just Begum Habibullah and Indra Gandhi are very, very great friends and she makes Indra Gandhi eat beef. So now you mustn't go anywhere near Indra, uh, this girl, this lady, uh, who is making Indra Gandhi eat beef. What a silly idea it was, but still, I was coming back very, very tired from uh, my constituencies, talking to villagers, sitting on the chapa, chap, 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 charpai, telling them. And I said, Bhaiya, ek jagha mein baiti. So I said, Bhaiya ji, aap bataiye, aap kya karne wali hai? Hum bataib. Hum bilkul bataib. Wo, the party aya tha, tumra, jo, dusra khada hua hai. To hum se kahen, usko Indra Gandhi ko, jo, Hamid Habibullah unke saath hai, usko vote mat dena. Kyunki wo to, meat khati hai, bichati khilati bhi hai, khati bhi hai. To hum kahen, khat ta apne muh se khat hai. Tumra kya pet pirat hai. I was so impressed that he, village woman sitting over there on the char pie without any education telling this chap the party khat to apne muh se khat hai tumra ka hai pet pirat hai i can never forget that and of course i won by quite a huge majority and uh, i enjoyed being with them because being with them was being with honest people mm -hmm. straightforward people yeah. people that one could do so much for Ma'am, you were the one to lay foundation of this uh, institution, Seva. Which uh, year was in, that? Sam? Initially, I was really, because at the back of this house, in fact, uh, Seva. My main uh, effort in the course of, and that is why I'm president of uh, uh, our degree college also, mm -hmm. because uh, Jawaharlal Nehru said that uh, the convent people are going and they are leaving this place, uh, uh, this college, uh, uh, convent, convent is going away and leaving. And I want you to take it over. So I said, I can only take it over if you promise to let the present staff over there stay on because they have done very well. He said, I'll do anything that you want me to. So in Bahubuna's time, I became president of the, uh, and I am till today. I became president in 75 and I'm president till today. My main effort is, has been, and I, quite, I think I'm right in saying that, that if the, uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, I think, had said you educate one woman and that means educating a family or something. But it is a fact that if you have an educated, and Siva was very necessary because I felt that women must learn to earn for themselves also. If they earn something, 
then they will be able to stand up to any problem that uh, they have to face. But if they don't have any income of their, their own, then they will not be respected. So I, uh, and now I find that there are about, uh, there is a very large number around Lucknow, uh, the villages, where they are all doing this. I discovered also that the, the village, in the village Neotani, which was my father's village, when I was sitting over there, I asked a woman, you have made this sari, how much is it going to cost? I said, 20 rupaiya, okay, le 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 ga. So I said, 20 rupaiya ki sari puri, tum ne chicken ka kaam kiya hai usme. I said, okay, le, ah, usse zyada to koi nahi deta hai. So I thought that, that this should be organized for me. And that is where they started, oh, uh, somewhere in, uh, near this house. What is the basic work, ma'am, of the institution, Seva? Seva. Yeah. What is Self-employed uh, No, what is the work that they do? It is Chicken. Craft. So chicken, chicken, mainly. Chicken. Oh. chicken, because that is something that uh, that is something that a parda woman can do also, a woman sitting in the house can do also, a woman, a, a whole family. I found sometimes one, one woman, I mean one, one family having two daughters-in-law doing chicken work and making money and standing on their feet. Some of them eventually just stood up, not only on their feet, but educated their children. And um, this is what happened eventually, that they, uh, they had something. There was a woman, uh, there was a girl who, was, uh, who had something was paralyzed or something in their, their legs, but she could do handwork. So this is chicken. And chicken work made her... Which year, ma'am, was it established? The, the institution, the Seva institution? The Seva institution was established with the effort of a lot of other people. But it was established somewhere, in, uh, I can't tell you the exact date, I'm forgetting it now. But uh, it was uh, some, some, somewhere, uh, I finished, when they finished my, uh, when, uh, I was a member, as I told you, I was a minister during my ministership that, uh, that must have been what, what year, what could it have been? Yeah. Uh, anyway. So the, that time the plight of the women was uh, 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 not good? No. Or then uh, the other thing that had I had started, which is uh, still there, you will uh, see, Talim Gaha Nisma. Talim Gaha Nisma means education of women. Now, these uh, Parda women were even more at a disadvantage. They used to sit at home and uh, they couldn't do anything if any, if uh, uh, anybody was unkind to them, if uh, their children were not getting the proper education, there was nothing they could do about it because they just didn't know anything. But once they got educated, then the family did get educated, the surroundings also got educated, and then they started becoming, earning an income, which was the great thing. That, that income Nisra was established. It was an educational institution. Yes, educational institution. Uh, our degree college is an English uh, medium uh, institution, which I am president of still. But uh, the, this is uh, the uh, then uh, you know in a, every work some politicians or somebody starts off. There was some uh, Dr. Kora she said, "What sort of a Muslim are you that you are?" Uh, uh, accepting the Hindi medium as the medium of education. I said, I'm not accepting it. I, it has to be uh, uh, learned to be able to pass any exams. And you haven't sent in the, just for the love of spending money. If they spend money, they must earn something mm -hmm. also. Uh, so they, I made Urdu compulsory over there. And Urdu is compulsory over there. So a lot of people are rather happy that Urdu is also being taught over there. And they did so well in Urdu that I believe they be, uh, the girls have been given big job. There are 3,500 girls over there. And uh, all these girls who got 
hidden away in Parda, behind a veil, and knew nothing more. And now, being educated, getting in, uh, jobs, getting an income, and if uh, some of them go in for higher education, like medicine, this, that, and the other. What is your opinion of the plight of women now? Plight of women is uh, something that is very painful for me now. Because at this stage, to find women be attacked, uh, more or less, by men, men and uh, uh, sex and all this be important, seems very surprising because uh, I thought men were also getting educated at the same time. But uh, this is uh, very, very painful also. I don't know. I think we'll have to t uh, just uh, uh, make the women stronger or uh, make some... Uh, I think the government will have to come in and it will have to take very, very strong measures against uh, this attack. Ma'am, what do you think what is the cause of such attacks on women at this moment? What uh, mostly you attribute it to? Well, I don't know. I think uh, uh, half the reason for it is that they become very free to meet each other, which is a good thing, and I don't think there's any harm in that. But I think the parents should also uh, try to uh, warn, the, warn the girls, warn the, the girls and boys mm -hmm. against this uh, sex uh, attack in I, I, I don't understand why this is happening, uh, but I do sort of know that it is happening. Any and message, ma'am, you would like to give to the society? To the society, I would like to give one message which I have, I think, already explained to you, that education and with education, the broad-mindedness of uh, realizing that maybe that we, we are, may have differences, man, woman, or Hindu, Muslim, but basically, sare jaha se achcha Hindustan hamara. Hindi hai ham vatan hai Hindustan hamara. कुछ बात है कि हस्ती मिट्टी नहीं हमारी सदियों रहा है दुश्मन दौरे जमा हमारा तो हमारी जो हिंदुस्तान की पहचान है और जो हमारे बड़े-बड़े लीडरों ने जब जवाहरलाल नेहरू महात्मा गांधी स्पेशली who looked a very simple person but had taught such great lessons I think that is something that is very precious and we should Remember that, uh, uh, especially this Ishwar Allah Tere Naam Sabko Samadhi De Bhagwan. Mujhe to ye shir itna pasand hai ke sach puchho to humare hum chahe kisi naam se usko pukare chahe usse Allah kahe chahe Ishwar kahe chahe God kahe. Magar agar sahi baane mein usko pehchante hain. तो हमको सही रास्ते पे जाना पड़ेगा और ये तमाम बेहुदा हरकतें जो हो रही हैं इनको छोड़ना पड़ेगा तो मैं समझती हूँ कि यंगर जेनरेशन को भी अगर मजहब में नॉट स्पेशल मजहब एक इस्लाम या हिंदुइज्म नहीं बल्कि मजहब के उसूल उसूलों में उनको अच्छी तरह से समझाया जाए ताकि वो कभी इस गलत काम ना करें और गलत काम ना करें और मिलजुल के रहें इसलिए कि चाहे वो सिद्धा करें खुदा के सामने चाहे वो भगवान के सामने चाहे वो एक ही बात है मगर गुडनेस में और काइंडनेस में फेथ होना चाहिए अगर उसमें फेथ होगा तो सब काम अपने भी बनेंगे दूसरों के भी बनेंगे आई थिंक पीपल फॉरगेटिंग फॉरगेटिंग uh, not, not uh, with religion, they are forget forgetting the basic principles of life also, which is, I think, something very 
necessary for people to remember and i think that is what we should teach them shukriya madam thank you thank so you much for giving much. us so much time thank you it's been a pleasure talking to you people <laughs>